today's lesson is the second derivative of the implicit derivative. So previously we talked about how to find a derivative using implicitly. Today we're just going to learn how to use the implicit derivative to find the higher derivative. That could be the second, that could be a third, and so on. So let's look at the first example. It says find the second derivative of 3x squared minus 7y squared minus 6 is equal to 1. So the first thing we should do is find the first derivative using implicit. So the root is 3x squared is 6x. Derivative of negative 7y squared is negative 14y. Again, we took the derivative of y, so I'm going to multiply by dy over dx. And derivative of negative 6 and positive 1, both of them are constants, so you're going to get 0 as the answer. So we get negative 14y dy over dx to equal to negative 6x. So we have our first derivative to be 3x over 7y. So to find a second derivative, we're going to take the derivative once again. So again, same rule applies. You have to take the derivative of every term. On the left side, you have dy over dx. Again, that stands for the first derivative. So derivative of the first derivative is known as a second derivative. That's where the notation for second derivative is written. On the right side, you have to take the derivative using quotient rule. So it'll be 3 times 7y minus 7 times 3x dy over dx all over 7y to the second power. Now, all we have to do is substitute dy over dx, which we know to be 3x over 7y, and then solve it, and we'll have our answer. So second derivative is equal to 21y minus 21x times our first derivative, which is 3x over 7y, all over 49y squared. Just going to write it one more time and try to simplify some of the terms. So we have 21y minus 9x squared over y all over 49y squared. Now we're going to try to get rid of this denominator. Okay, there's two ways of thinking about it. You guys could find the common denominator and then try to divide it by the reciprocal. Now there's two ways to simplify this. You guys could actually find a common denominator and then divide by 49y squared which is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal since you will have fraction over fraction. Or I'm going to multiply by y to the entire equation, y over y. So this way, we're getting rid of that denominator. So the first, you'll have 21y squared minus 9x squared all over 49y to the third. Now, if you could simplify this, I would simplify this, but I think this will be the most simplified version. So the answer comes out to be 21y squared minus 9x squared over 49y to the third. So let's look at another example. Find the second derivative of 3y equal to x times y to the second. So once again, in order to get the second derivative, we will need to find the first derivative first. So derivative 3y is 3 dy over dx. Product rule, so we y squared plus 2xy dy over dx. 
you have dy over dx, c minus 2xy is equal to y squared. So our first derivative comes out to be y squared over c minus 2xy. Since we know the first derivative, which comes out to be y squared over 3 minus 2 times x times y. Now we're ready to the second derivative. So derivative dy with dx, again, the first derivative, derivative of that will be second derivative. On the right side, you have a quotient rule and you have a product rule for the denominator. So just be careful with that. So it will be 2 times y dy over dx times 3 minus 2xy minus negative 2y minus 2x dy over dx times y squared all over 3 minus 2 times x times y to the second power. So let's clean this up a little bit by trying to combine the right term or simplify if needed. From our st first term, we have 2y times our first derivative, which happened to be y squared all over 3 minus 2xy times 3 minus 2xy. minus 2y minus 2 times x times our first derivative once again. So y squared over 3 minus 2xy times y squared all over 3 minus 2 times x times y to the second power. next step so what I did was I distribute the y square to both of these terms that's why you get negative 2y to the third minus 2x y to the fourth um, I'm gonna rewrite this problem by distributing the negative at the same time trying to multiply by the common denominator which in this case happened to be 3 minus 2xy so we have Two y to the third times three minus two x y all over three x uh, three minus two x y plus two y to the third plus two times x times y to the fourth all over. 3x, 3 minus 2xy all over 3 minus 2 times x times y to the second power. Again, the reason I didn't divide this term out is because we're going to have a common denominator. So we could just 
you know, divide each other out all together later on. So I'm going to try to multiply by 3 minus 2xy all together. So this will eliminate this denominator and that denominator, the middle term will get multiplied by 3 minus 2xy. So you have 2y to the third, 3 minus 2xy, 2y to the third, 3 minus 2xy, plus 2 times x, y to the fourth. all over 3 minus 2 times x times y to the third power. Now notice that they're same term. So if, um, I will just simplify this by distributing them. So we have Six y to the third minus four x y to the fourth. Then you have that twice. And then you have plus two x y to the fourth. All over our denominator, which happened to be three minus two times x times y to the third power. And now we just have to combine it like that. So we have 12y to the third. And we have negative, which is minus 6xy to the fourth. All over 3 minus 2xy to the third power. And here's our answer. And there is a common term in the numerator, which is 6y to the third. If you want, you guys could factor them out, and you'll still be okay with an answer. All right, you guys could do this. This might look a little bit neater. do have our answer to be the same. So as a conclusion, uh, what you need to do is you need to find the first derivative. You'll find the second derivative using implicit the same way. But once you have the dy over dx, since now we know what the dy over dx is, which is your first derivative, you'll have to substitute it in to replace it. And if you simplify, that will be your second derivative.